refresh our mind on what I said is the company's um, mission. Our mission basically is to eliminate the recruitment and staffing headache that business owners are having. And we need to ask ourselves every day in our operations what we do, how is it related to solving somebody's business headache when it comes to dealing with their staff. This morning, um, I got a message from Carrot Top and was telling me that the staff he has in um, Benin had just left. It means that the headache that we fix for him has come back again. So we need to be constantly on our toes because this is a mission that we must live by and must walk by. And for, we, for us to get it right, we must ensure that when we are getting somebody for a staff, that is the right person that we are getting. And that brings us also to why it's important that we need to start to look at what are the trends that are showing us whether somebody will last on the job or whether they will not last. But when somebody is not going to last, it's worsening the headache of an employer. If you give him somebody who doesn't last in their company, that person leaves, you bring out another person, the person leaves, the headache is just being multiplied over and over. So we must keep on focusing on our mission, which is to take care of these headaches. Also, when it comes to our core value last week, we talked about getting the job done. One of our core values is getting the job done, which is at any particular point, we need to ensure that once somebody comes to us, that they want us to recruit for them, that that job of the filling that vacancy is fixed up. And part of the reason is one of the things that um, I talked with Princess and also with you, Francisca, last week. Go and visit Gojak, find out what their problem is. Visit Crosslink and find out. A lot of times, there are things you might be communicating with somebody on the phone. Once you see the person face to face, you can actually appreciate some of their concerns and some issues that you've been trying to, you know, gloss over on the phone or via, via social media, WhatsApp. Because you are there, you can feel the person's pause. You can see what is happening within their company. And it will give you a better way of getting the job done. And so for each and every one of us, so one of the things that every week, once a week, we might just have a day that, or twice, a month. Let's go around and meet our clients to understand what are their pain points. Because sometimes just talking some, with somebody on the phone, you might not really get the real essence of what is bugging them. And for you to be able to take, out, take away somebody's headache, you must be able to feel their pain from the point is coming. It's easy for you to dismiss somebody when you're not seeing the person or you're discussing with the person on the phone. But when you visit their setting, you see how their business are set up. You can understand that probably these kind of people that have been trying to send to them, send to them are not the right kind of people. So we must focus on our core, which is getting the job done. The second one I talked about was building relationship. We must work on establishing solid relationship with our clients. The next we talk about our core value is openness, growth. I keep emphasizing this area of growth. Our core value is growing. I don't want anybody who comes in here every month to remain the same. Everybody must every month take a course. Your maternity leave on the course taking has expired, so you must from this month start taking your own course. You are not just doing it for, you are not doing it for counsel, but you are doing it for yourself. You must have a system that forces you to grow. Every, all of us must do, grow and develop ourselves starting from this month. The other area we talked about was hiring good people and finding the wrong people very fast. Um, it's as if Nana just knew what I was about to do because I've looked at her and asked her myself, does she fit into our culture, what we're trying to do? Somebody who comes in and doesn't fit, once you say that somebody doesn't fit, the best thing you can do for that person is let the person live on time so that they can get into an area where they fit in better. If somebody doesn't fit our culture, the best thing that we can do for the person of ourselves is help the person get somewhere else. So luckily she approached me this morning that she thinks that she might look, need to get somewhere else. So for us too, anybody who doesn't fit, we don't bring the person in. And when we, even if the person comes in, I don't have any issue with asking the person to leave. So we also must make sure at every particular point that we are the right fit for the company. And like I mentioned to you, which what is our vision? is to build a solid system that supports small businesses in four, three areas. Business education, 
their recruitment and helping them to source finances. Which means we are building an ecosystem whereby if a business owner in Nigeria has a recruitment problem, they come into this ecosystem. They are having challenges with how they raise finance, they come to us. They are having challenges on how do we develop our team, how do we train our team, they come to us. So it's important for us to understand what we are trying to build. And also ask yourself, my vision for my life, does it build into this particular area? But what I want to talk about today majorly is um, so let me start with a, a small story. So let's say um, a woman gets pregnant. Normally the, it starts with a, a cell, an egg, and a sperm. By the time the two fertilize in the baby's um, mother's womb, probably like um, Abdullahi when she was still in the in Bella's womb. You know, at that particular cell level, the child is okay, just floating around in the womb. He has enough space. One month, Abla is getting bigger. Still okay within the same space, but growing bigger. Two months, he's growing bigger. Five months, the space is still okay, but not so free anymore. By seventh month, the young man is say, oh boy, yes, I'm still okay, but not so okay. But by ninth month, Abla is just say, oh boy, this year is no longer conducive enough for me. I need a bigger space. And that is when we, Abla came in, Belo told her that she has given birth and we're going to see her. The point I'm saying is that for each and every one of us, we must look at whatever space we are occupying in what we are doing and understand that the only way we can get to a bigger space is for us to outgrow where we are currently. If you don't consider what you are doing and ask yourself, how do I grow such that I can actually outgrow my current position? It means that what we just be looking at is looking from outside to come and fill the bigger position that we have. So if, for instance, your job is custom, your, um, following up um, the clients, you need to actually do it so well and grow it to a, a position where we say, you know what, this person can actually be a general coordinator of all our clients. Because the, the, the position where she was of just handling, calling clients, the person has outgrown it. I was discussing with an MD yesterday. And one of the things, one of the biggest companies um, in Lagos, you know, he told, which was something very humbling for me. He said he was just coming in from Abuja and he was looking at this problem he was having in his company and asked himself, well, who do I call? And just two names popped into his head. One was somebody's name and one was my name. And what that told me was that as a company, we have grown where people could actually identify us with certain core skills. That if I'm having problem in this particular area, who do I need to reach out to? And he was telling me that this is the problem I'm having in my company, but within my company, who do you think that can fix this particular problem? We analyzed the staff that he had, his management team, and what we realized that all of them were just operating within that their small space. This person is a sales manager, he's doing his sales job very well. This person is a marketing manager, he's doing his marketing job very well. This person is an admin manager, he's doing his job very well. Nobody has had, had built themselves to outgrow their, their admin manager role so that they are beyond just, they can do admin very well, do sales very well, do marketing very well. Because what he was looking out for was a chief operations manager, officer. Somebody who could more like just be the overall head reporting to the MD. But he looked within his same setting. What we just both agree was that nobody within your organization has developed themselves to a place where they could actually outgrow their current space. What that tells each and every one of us is that we need to act, always ask ourselves, since I joined this organization, what have I done to grow my capacity? 